Good morning. Thank you, Mr. Green. Protocol has already been established, so I want to go through um, recognizing everyone, but I'm just glad to be here a part of this program. My name is Robert Jackson. I'm the Senator for the 11th District here in Mississippi. Dr. Uh, Mr. Max Gill works on behalf of the President. I work on behalf of you. I've served four counties here in the North Mississippi Delta area. I've had the pleasure of being in the midst of a genius that's here with us today for the past three days. And I'm in awe of this man's genius. He is a great man, and we're just so happy to be here with him today, and you should be as well. I took the opportunity to uh, get this proclamation done. It was supposed to be done the other day, but it was a private setting, and God so had it that we would have a public setting that we could share this, not only with the people that were there, but with, with you today. And I've asked Ms. Dunn if she could come up and read the proclamation. I had it expressly done on yesterday, just to prove to Dr. Mensah that Mississippi is ready and willing to work with you in any way that we can. And I want him to listen to this proclamation very clearly because there's a thing on there that we just had done, we just talked about yesterday, that's in this proclamation. So state government is responsive to the needs of the people. And I won't belabor the point anymore, but I just want Ms. Dunn to read the proclamation. The state of Mississippi, the Lieutenant Governor of the state of Mississippi, and Senator Robert Jackson, extend the greetings of the Mississippi State Senate to broadband technology expert, Dr. Thomas Mensa, and commend his fiber optic innovation program in the Mississippi Delta. Whereas in November 2014, Dr. Thomas Mensa, President and CEO of Georgia Aerospace Atlanta, was inducted as a fellow of the National Academy of Inventors at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, California, for his work on advanced nanocomposites at Florida State University. Dr. Mensa has several patents that have been awarded by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office within a six-year time frame. Dr. Mensa is one of three black men out of 167 inventors honored by the NAL. The NAI, I'm sorry. He is passionate about green energy and sustainable development. And whereas Dr. Mensa is known as the genius behind fiber optics and innovation, he has chosen the Delta area as one of the first stops in his Mississippi tours. Because of its huge leadership in agriculture, its rich culture history, its prominent schools of higher education, and the Delta's interest in fiber optics and broadband technology, his broad objective is to develop a fiber optics innovation nanotechnology program in the Cahoma County area and surrounding cities. Dr. Mensa is working with a group of Delta leaders called the Delta Centric Economic Coalition to create new opportunities for jobs in the Delta area. And whereas Dr. Mensa's visit to the Delta area is a great opportunity to discuss his involvement in fiber optics and nanotechnology, including STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, with an audience of K-12 college students and community development in the area. Dr. Mensa's visit is October the 7th through October the 9th at Cahoma Community College and Delta State University. And it is with great pride that we recognize the contributions of this individual and his leadership in broadband technology. Now, therefore, the Lieutenant Governor of the State of Mississippi and Senator Robert Jackson extend the greetings of the Mississippi Senate to broadband technology expert, Dr. Thomas Mensa, and commend his fiber optic innovation program in the Mississippi Delta. Signed on this eighth day of October 2015, by Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves and Senator Robert Jackson.
He's not in the church, so don't be afraid. Don't sit at the back. Raise your hand and ask a question. Especially the students. You have a mic on there? Just raise your hand. We have a student from West Valley with a question. How much money do you make? Say what? What did you say? What's the question? How much money do you make? How much money? Guess what? If you have that time somebody says the photo you get me. Anytime someone says something on the internet and you go to Paris, that's money. Your math is right. Your math, your 
chemistry, of physics, and the other stuff. Of course, you need to do next interval biology. Next question. Question from 10th grade student in Cornwall Agriculture High School. Okay. Who is it? I mean, he 